on strike. 11 hours after Medford teachers declared a strike, we're taking a live look at school district headquarters where Superintendent Phil Long is about to begin a press conference. Thanks for joining us on NBC 5 News at 5. I'm Craig Smullen. Christine Pitawanich is on assignment. It was an emotional day for both teachers and administrators. After the two sides worked through the night before failing to reach a contract agreement. NBC 5's Jennifer Elliott spoke to them early this morning live. The situation bringing both parties to tears. We will be back. Howard kids and every other student in this district, your regular teacher will be back and we will greet you with hugs and smiles that you are not going to get from anyone else. Um, we really care about our teachers. We'd like them back. Both sides visibly shaken just after six Thursday morning when the announcement was made. Trying to figure out a way to pull this together and um, we couldn't get it done by six o'clock. Meaning Medford teachers are officially on strike. We want a contract. We want it now. With that, picketers poured in. Everyone at Central High School, from the superintendent to teachers to even student alumni who joined the protest, are calling the situation disheartening. It's just ridiculous that they're like not even negotiating. Like they, I mean, they're going to eventually. They can't just not, but... I think it's just ridiculous that it's this hard for them to decide what to give the teachers when they're asking for exactly what they should be getting. But for now, a compromise remains seemingly out of reach. Good, you had a choice. Emotions running high as picketing teachers pound the pavement, completely surrounding the high school where the district offices are located. Unwilling to give another inch. And our folks are not willing to give any more. And you can ask them, you guys willing to give more? No! The answer is no. In Medford, Jennifer Elliott, NBC5 News. Jennifer, thanks very much. Let's go live now to the Medford School District offices where Superintendent Phil Long is speaking live to the media. To, um, address something. Some people have, have suggested that we really haven't moved a lot in our negotiations. I want to let you know what happened in the last 21-hour uh, session that we had. We were not sitting around just doodling on napkins. Our team was engaged the whole time. Uh, we started at 9 o'clock uh, yesterday. We finished. Um, our team left about 6.15 this morning. And in that time, the 21 hours or so, we moved and we moved and we moved again. Um, we actually only received one written proposal from the association. And after that, we provided a written proposal back. That was yesterday evening um, around 4.30 or 5 when we gave that to them. Um, we were concerned because we weren't hearing anything from them. So we asked the school board to come in. We had an executive session and really discussed with the board um, all the issues that we had been trying to address in this contract, um, the concerns they still had, the things they were hearing from our community, and to get direction to see if there was anything else we could do. Um, the key pieces that we've been working on related to salary, as you all know, when we went into this just this last week, we had 12% on the table for a three-year contract. During the evening, we moved to 13 and to 14, and we looked at um, some other insurance pieces, um, but the association was not willing at that point to accept the, the agreement that we had on the table. Um, this morning, we were extremely disappointed. We received a, a, a proposal at three, and we spent three in the morning, and we spent the next two and a half hours costing it all out. The numbers just weren't there. Um, there was a, a proposal by the, the association yesterday for a one-year agreement, which would really only be a six-month more agreement. It would mean next Monday we would turn around and start the contract process again. That's not an acceptable solution. We need stability. We need our community to have time to heal. We need to be able to build back and, and, and let our teachers know that they have guaranteed salaries, protections, benefits, prep time, all those pieces for several years. So. Our commitment is still to try to get a three-year agreement. Um, it would be two years after this year and to um, give assurances to our employees and our community that we're making the investments we need. So I'd be glad to take any questions. And Dr. Long, we know that some of the people on your bargaining team are also administrators. So yes. how will you balance this weekend's bargaining session when it comes to having people there at the meeting and also having people getting ready for that potential Tuesday? Um, I know you've got a lot of work to do getting ready for students. You know, we have been working continuously for the last two weeks anticipating all the things that are going to have to happen, all the options. Um, last week, we gave people a four-hour window off so they could watch the Super Bowl. But other than that, um, the focus has been keeping our schools safe, being prepared no matter what would happen. So um, our administrators today and tomorrow are working on consolidating schools, 
making sure the staff from both schools can work together and that we can welcome children on Tuesday if we have to work that plan. And if your agree infant agreement is reached on Saturday, does yes. that mean there will still not be school Monday? What can parents expect? You know what? My best thing now would be is if we could solve this on Saturday, that would allow us to welcome our teachers back on Monday. We would check them in and school would start on Tuesday either way. That would really be that would be a great resolution to this. And when are you expected to yeah. negotiate again? We are scheduled to uh, meet on Saturday, 9 o'clock. Um, both teams will come together, and it'll be a day-long session. I do not anticipate a marathon session because um, we're working Sunday. We, we're, we, we need to be ready for our substitutes on Monday to train them. And Dr. Long, where have you made progress? Where do you, you still remain far apart on these issues? Well, I think the, the stumbling blocks for us are, are financial, and they have to do with an early retirement benefit. We saw some movement, potential movement, with the association in that, but we're waiting basically to see if we can um, move on the salary and the other pieces, too, to make it work. It's all kind of connected. There's been some concern about the working conditions, and the, the we changed our proposal on that. We've attended to the concerns, so our hope is to resolve it this Saturday if possible. Okay, thank you so much. Again, uh, Dr. Phil Long, superintendent of the Medford School District. Again, both parties will be meeting this Saturday at 9 a.m., trying to come to a resolution on a contract that's been debated for nearly a year now. It's been pretty emotional out here. I've been out here for a couple of hours all day long from 7 o'clock in the morning until about 4.30. Teachers were out on the sidewalks here at the district offices, picketing, holding signs, chanting, cars honking. So definitely a trying time for both parties at this point. For now, live in Medford at the district offices, Christine Pitawanich, NBC5 News.